The location chosen for our challenge was this cinema in Bristol. With numerous performances every day, speedy and efficient cleaning is essential. So it's the perfect place to host our epic contest. As usual, we knew about our tech, but not the tasks ahead. Ah. Well, I'd like to offer up this, John. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to read this bit. It is the Shark Anti-Hair Wrap Corded Stick Vacuum Cleaner with Flexology and True Pet. And that's the last time I'm going to be saying that today. <laughs> My Shark is a mains-powered stick design vacuum and costs around 270 quid. No crib sheet needed for me. May I introduce you to the Dyson V7 Absolute? My stick vacuum is battery-powered and one of Dyson's cheapest models. Ah, yeah, but the entry level of that is more expensive than my top-of-the-range shark. Mm, that doesn't bode well for you, John. And then this portability, John. It comes folded for easy storage. To get it operational, pull that up like that. Oops. Get it the right way up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you want to uh, go handheld or commando, as I like to call it, <laughs> goes out like that. Mm. Well, my Dyson doesn't fold in half, but you simply hang it up when it's not in use, and while it's there, it charges on the charging station. Now, how much does the shark weigh? I'd say about five and a quarter kilos. Well, the Dyson's only 2.3 kilos. That's less than half. Think how much easier it's going to be to push about, and that's before we get to the small matter of the cord you keep having to plug in. Fortunately, at this point, John's rant was interrupted by a message from our producer. I like my tube. It's very smooth, my tube. Whatever, John. John and Craig, not sure I like the billing. <laughs> uh, your first <laughs> challenge will examine your machine's low capacity and suction power. Please proceed to the confectionery counter upstairs and collect some cinema snacks. Our task is to suck up as many sweets as possible. Can we eat some first? No! Sorry. Until the vacuums are full. Shark quote, a capacity of 0.3 litres, which is about the size of that. Mm, whereas the Dyson has a bin size of just over half a litre. So, on paper, your machine should win. Is there any one way to find out? Come on, then. We'll keep going until we reach each vacuum's fill line. Slap that on the max. Once full, we emptied our machines to see how much we'd got. There's not much in it, is there? If anything, John, I'd say the Shark is a fraction ahead. Yes. Even though it's got a smaller bin. So how can a vacuum with a smaller bin hoover up more stuff? That's because many manufacturers quote the total volume of the storage, not the volume up to the fill line, which is the manufacturer's recommended capacity for maximum suction. But that's only part of this test, because we've also got to examine suction power. And here, the Dyson could fight back. What's your shark got in its belly? Well, it's got a 450-watt motor, John. Mm, well, I haven't got a directly comparable figure. Well, you should have done your research, John. No, because the power of the motor isn't really the most important thing. It's the suction power, and that's measured in air watts. And on its maximum setting, the V7 has 100 of those. Well, I've only got 78, but as the last test proved, the figures can be wrong. To test suction power, we're going to load sweets into these cups, put the lids on, and see how much they can lift before the nozzles let go. We both kicked off with 550 gram loads. Well, that was easily done. That's OK, that's going all right. A few more. They're meant to go in the cup, Craig, not your mouth. Oh, whatever, John. Oh, it's done it. We steadily increased the weights. Well, hey! And both had enough power to lift over 700 grams. That did well. But eventually, my shark hit the limit. Oh, no. Mine's maxed out at 790. However, my Dyson soldiered on. That's done it. In fact, it eventually managed 861 grams. That's a clean lift, that is. So the shark and Craig <laughs> can swallow more, <laughs> while the Dyson's a better sucker. Which makes Tess 1 a draw. At which point... <laughs> Which back cleans up best when up against the clock? Can I just concede? No. We each have 20 minutes to tidy up two rows of seats. And boy, what a tidy up. Who sat in here last? That film star with the lovely hair. Lassie. Fortunately, we've got some hardcore implements at our disposal. The Dyson comes with not one, but two floor heads. They're both motorised. This one has brushes to thrash the dirt out of carpets. This one's smooth for hard floors. Do you mean you actually have to change tools? The Shark comes with a duo clean floor head, so it can do both. To ensure a fair fight, my Dyson's been fully recharged. And we'll be able to empty our bins as many times as needed until our 20 minutes is up. 
Ooh. Mm. Hang on a minute, I'm not plugged in yet. Well, you're on mains. Finding somewhere to plug it in is part of the process. Ah, oh, that's not fair. Ah. While Craig searches for a socket... Ah, ha, ha, here we go. I've got a dilemma, conserving battery life. So much so, I've selected the lower power setting. I'm not using max power. I'm on the other mode called powerful, but actually only has a fifth of the power. But even on this setting, the V7 only has a runtime of 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the accessories you use. Uh, oh, oh, dear. OK. No such problems for me. Yes. Have you even got headlights? It's a good long cable. No faff there at all. By now, I'd reached a really messy section, which required full power. Uh, don't have any longer on, Max. I'll be running out of power in six minutes. Let's turn that off, change the attachment. It looks like a lot of faff, that Dyson, John. I've got so many heads to choose from, it's great. In fact, the V7 comes with no less than seven different attachments. How's yours doing, John? Very good, very controllable, handles very well. Well, my shark comes with just four. Mine's making a really good job on the hard floor and on the carpet. Really? Yeah. Back in business. On to the lassie seat, which my shark, now back in commando mode, made light work of. Just gobbles up lassie hair. Oh, no. However, my Dyson wasn't gobbling, but clogging. I'm going to have to go for me nozzle, I think. By now, we're both nearing the end of the job. Last bit of the floor to do. Mm. But would my Dyson get there? Oh, well, go well. on, John. Did your Dyson get there? Who well, won? Well, yes, it did get there. Contrary to all expectations, the battery did last the course and it didn't do a bad job either. I've got to be honest, I mean, uh, my shark was so much better on the hair. Hair. And yeah. we're having animals, we've got cats and dogs. I mean, that would be that would be an issue with me. I mean, I think overall, the battery operated cleaner did very, very well, but it wasn't quite an entire substitute for the mains powered one. Mm. I think it means I won. <laughs> <laughs>